This is Dion from Risen Video Productions. Today we're going to be working on Avid Media Composer, understanding how the root drive in Avid identifies its files. We have the Avid's media files for high def video. We also have the OMFI files for standard definition video. Now remember, these two folders, Avid creates its own individual media. And then we have the Avid's project folder, which holds all the Avid projects. Let's get started. We're going to tell Avid to go to the drive that has the Avid projects. Open it up. And as you can see, there's nothing in there now. So we're actually going to go through and create a new project. But first, let's take a look. We noticed that the it automatically started creating metadata for it. We're going to go to the Avid's project. Nothing has been created yet, so scoot this over. And we're actually going to create a new project. Here in the new projects, I want you to take a look. There's the format. You can tell Avid exactly which format you want to start your project in. Once you decide which project you want, you go ahead and click on it. We're going to click on the aspect ratio. We have a choice of 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. We're going to do 16 by 9 today. But before clicking OK, you want to name your project. I'm going to name this project Avid. When I do this, before I click OK, I want you to notice something. It's going to open it up here in the selected projects and also here in the root drive. Click OK, and there it is. Here it is in the selected projects section and over here in the root drive. Now when you click on it, there you go. There's the Avid settings. The AVS is Avid settings. Hit OK. And when I hit OK, I want you to notice Avid is going to create some additional files because now we're creating a whole project. When we do that, you're going to see a couple of other files pop up, one of them being Avid Bin, the .avb, that's the Avid Bin, and in the Avid Media Composer, Avid Bin. Now if I rename this to Audio, it's going to create it here. Here is the Avid's media folder, and as you can see, if we click on it, nothing's been created yet because we didn't import or ingest anything, so let's go do that now. Go ahead and go down to Import. You can right click to get to that, by the way. Scroll down, tell it which drive. I have some media and uh, my G drive, so I'm gonna scroll down to my G drive, to my MP3 and audio. And let's go with the first file here. Now we're gonna go down to where it says options, because this is where it's, it's very important. Here's the image section for the import settings. We're gonna talk about that later in another tutorial. We have the OMFI, we're going to also talk about that. Those are importing video. Here we have the short log and the XD cam. And last but not least, this is what we want right here, audio. Now I want to click on this box right here, gain an effect on import. We want to do negative 14 so that when we're playing our audio, it won't come in hot. You also have a choice for resolution, but we're not bringing in video right now. We're just working strictly with audio. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and select a, the file again that we want. Now that we got our settings we want, hit open. Now as it's opening up, I want you to notice right here in the Avid's Media folder, MFS1 folder, it's creating its own standalone media. There it is. There's our files that we, that we created, our own individual media files for Avid. Here it is in the bin. And here we go. Now we have the media. It's standalone in our bin as well. We can drag it into the window. Or if you don't want to do that, if you want to go a little bit faster, let's go ahead and clear the monitor here. You can actually just double click it, and there it is. The file pops right in. Now, do a mark in, mark out, drop it down, and there it is. A1 and A2. There's our HQ MP3. Here's A1 and A2. Our, our media for it, as you notice, it's not coming in offline because we created our own media for it. Later, we're going to talk about linking to media, but right now, let's just focus on this. Okay, now we're going to open up our audio mixer. We're going to go to the settings and go to audio. This is where you can decide whether if you want to go alternating left or alternating right or center. As you notice, it's negative 14 down in the audio mixer, but you can also change it here. You can click on it and then move your mouse up or down to go left or right to make it go left or make it go right. Or you can bring it back to mid, which would be center. Go to audio projects. Here's our audio project settings. This is what I was telling you about the MXF. You can do OMF if you want it standard def. Or the, we have the MXS for HD. 
Uhura output if you want it to come out higher or low. You also have your input. You can select what type of input device you're using whenever you're recording your audio. Now we're going to go to the import settings. Remember how we did options earlier? Well, here it is. Options, but inside of Avid, is this, it is in the import settings. We're going to unclick that. We're actually going to import some more media in. We're going to import it again, but this time without clicking on the negative 14. We're going to make that just zero. Do OK. So how I'd overrided it earlier. Go ahead and open it up. It's going to create some more media for us. There it is. We got two more. Have you noticed they're still the same size, same same media, except one was brought in at negative 14 and the other one's brought in at zero. It's also a good habit. You see this sequence right here? Let's go ahead and name our sequence, create a new bin, and separate our sequence from our actual media, our audio media. I like to do what's called working sequence, so that way I know that I'm working on this sequence right now. There's other various ways of keeping track of that, but for today's tutorial, we'll just kind of separate those so we know those are all three. So here we go. It's in our Avis Media, Avis Projects. There's our files there. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take these two files and I'm going to drag them after I save it into my G drive. I'm going to move this, what I just created in Lacy, my Lacy drive, I'm now going to drag it into my G drive. And if you look over here, look, there it is creating it and Voila, there's our media. But to make sure Avid doesn't get confused between the G Drive and LAC, I'm going to put some extensions in the front of here because Avid, remember, Avid reads its, its folders, Avid's media projects, or media files, or Avid's project. So I'm going to get rid of that so that way Avid can only read it. Watch what happens when I click on Avid. It's reading the new media on the G Drive. Open up the G Drive, point it to my Avid's project, because that's the folder where I want to go read the project. There it is. Go ahead, hit OK, and open it up, and there we go. We just went from the Lacey to the G Drive, opening up media, bringing it back and forth, keeping track of our media, showing you how not only the G Drive, but Lacey, how they both work. Go ahead and close this up. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial to show you how Avid reads its media. You can contact me at risenvideo.com or see other videos I've done on vimeo.com slash risenvideo. This is Junius Dion. Have a good day.